Uh, welcome to another episode of St. Vincent and Told Stories. On this episode, we give you uh, the most recent update on the Lassafre volcano and we are going to tell you why residents of OTR and above are not speaking out. And uh, we also look at uh, the residents who are given order to return uh, back to the red zone. Big ups to all of my subscribers and if you are new to the channel hit the like uh, button uh, the subscribe button and hit the bell icon cause you are going to want to see this video and there are many more like uh, this one. It was said on the national broadcasting radio of St. Vincent and the Grenadines uh, that residents of Georgetown right up to Raboka can return home. Uh, that was said on a live stream on the 17th of May 2021. On the 18th of May uh, 2021, uh, the following Tuesday, it was said live on the broadcasting uh, that uh, there is a possibility uh, that the volcano can erupt again. Uh, so, let me just give you this update. Uh, right and now, uh, the volcano is steaming. Uh, the guys that are monitoring the volcano is saying uh, that right and now, uh, the volcano is a bit silent. Uh, but, uh, wasn't it? Uh, just a few days ago, they had some earthquakes. You guys have seen with your own eyes uh, the damage uh, that was done by the volcano and the recent uh, flooding and the uh, laha. Uh, some homes almost covered right up to the roofs with sand and stone. Uh, so tell me something. Uh, they need some countries are further helping on to some of these people. Why aren't they going? Uh, then we have to ask the question. Is it that if they leave, uh, then the constituency over that side would get smaller and uh, someone would be in trouble? Is it really that? Is it that the supporters would slim down and they don't want that? Uh, so, if Antigua say uh, they will accept some, the BVI say that. And you want to reopen schools. Why do you have still have them in the schools? It is just like saying, if you take a job, you will get a carnival. <laughs> Oi. Uh, when I say job, it is actually a layman term used by some people. It actually means uh, the injection uh, given uh, to help out with the big C. Uh, too many lies. You guys are being found out every day. If we don't uh, be careful, this is how St. Vincent is going to come. It is going to come a place where uh, no one would accept the laws anymore uh, because some persons are doing things and getting away with it while the small man feels the pressure and feels the pain. Uh, but with the way things are going, uh, persons are afraid to speak out. Uh, so it would remain that way for a very long time. I experienced instances in which a uh, police and a road boy exchanged the words and uh, the police used sorting words and the road boy used back some words and the road boy was arrested and not one day later, not two days later, not a month later, immediately uh, there was no such thing as pending investigation. Uh, so you see how the laws in St. Vincent work. Uh, they only apply to some. Uh, well, uh, residents of OTR and the places like Sandibi. If you go back home and you see the same fate uh, that happened to you in the flood before, you have to blame yourself. Uh, when your houses don't uh, get uh, fixed, uh, don't complain about the MP picking and choosing whose house to fix. Because right now, you have an opportunity where CNN and 60 Minutes is watching and uh, vloggers like Untold Stories is continuously speaking on your behalf. Let me ask a question. The residents of Georgetown and surrounding areas who lost their livestock and their crops, who went back, have you eaten, how have you slept, what is your income like? Uh, the residents of Jatibile, Richmond and surrounding areas, what is yours like? Uh, you know, all this time, I was thinking that is when you register to move out of the shelter, you would get the first $400.
so tell me something. If you go back to the orange and the red zone and you don't have any money in your pocket, you have to be hungry for a few days before you see the $400. And from the way things are sounding, not everyone is going to get the $400. It was people who was walking. So don't tell yourself 10 of you in a household, uh, that's 400 times 10. It now works, so you know. I explained it before in a previous episode. $500 would go to farmers every month until the year ends. And you see from that year end, it stopped right at this so. Uh, $400 would go to persons who are working every month until the year ends. So, as them never see, uh, that how children are entitled to a $400 as well. So, as I said before, if you have 10 people in the house, which 6 are children, and the others who are walking, only the ones who are walking would receive the $400. And uh, this is how I feel they are going to do it. Uh, they are going to check to see what kind of work you do. And uh, they would also check with your employer to see if your information is factual. Other farmers who are going to register would need to present their farmer's ID as usual. Uh, there would also be a one-time payout of $500 to non-red zone farmers because some of those farmers were affected as well by the ash. If any changes were made to what I said is they went back and changed it because we know they like to make changes and say they did not say such which the information was out there and I read it and I gave you back it in a layman's term uh, so uh, to the lady uh, that I met at a shop recently that was already calculating a sum of money uh, that her children and herself would receive it is not so and now you have the correct information here uh, question again, would transportation uh, be provided for those persons who were evacuated from the red zone and took a lot of baggage with uh, them? How are they going to get this stuff back home without any money in their pockets? Uh, remember, you guys are the ones uh, that send transportation to evacuate them. And uh, now you are telling them to go back home and we haven't heard anything about providing transportation for them. Uh, before uh, the persons were ordered to go back home, we needed a poverty assessment. Uh, remember, you guys had admitted to extreme uh, poverty. So we need to see it on our paper. How much of the population is not uh, poor? You know the thing that affects me the most? It have a lot of poor people in the Prime Minister's constituency, you know, and they choose to remain as silent, they're bearing hunger every day. We know their suffering because we are always on the street. Uh, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. It have a friend, I don't wish to call his name, but he has been suffering for years. His family is a big red card holder who employs people. He don't give him any employment. Uh, Sometimes the guy is drunk and eats sive for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And I saw on the voting day, uh, that guy came for that uh, guy to put his ex for them. And after that, uh, he did not want to see him. Uh, remember that untold stories. We don't go off of speculation, we go off of facts. You remember when I did an episode with Bongo and Bongo called out a certain name? So you can go and check out that story so you would know. Put two and two together and know it would add up. Uh, well, as you must have heard by now, uh, some schools have started back. Well, for some, not the entire schools, but some classes. Uh, so, what we would like uh, some of the journalists to do is to go to the schools and interview some of the students. You might probably need the parents' permission, but it's just an honest opinion how are they coping with school and so forth. Uh, the idea of sandals coming here to employ persons is a good thing. Uh, but I said we need more opportunities. We need factories. We need inventors and creators. We can't all be laborers all our lives. Uh, just over 18 million dollars uh, going to the persons affected uh, by the volcano. Oh my. So where's the rest going to? Uh, this is what I think. 
uh, why persons are being rushed back home to the orange zone and to the red zone. Remember right here now, we are in extreme poverty and there is no money to pay workers. So, uh, the allegations are uh, that workers were paid uh, from the Vulcan relief money last month. So they are rushing them back home so that they could pay them again out of the same money this month. So you see, you won't be able to add up the mathematics because they can say, oh, this was used for that and that was used for that. Remember, they said uh, that they didn't have monies to pay the workers. Uh, so if this continues, uh, tell me something. When the Vulcan relief money is run out, who is going to pay the workers? Uh, that is why we need creators, inventors and opportunities uh, for young people. Uh, but the way things are going right now is that the young people have no opportunity because sons of business moguls are the ones getting the prime grants. Uh, while uh, the poor man's son has to beg. Uh, take a look at the time uh, the red zones are being sent to him. And then do the mathematics and see what I'm talking about. Uh, close to end of this month end. Isn't that right? Uh, please remember to hit that notification bell. I just want to big up the entire population in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, the regional islands and the international countries who are supporting and uh, praying for us as always. I'm out. <laughs>